Happy Thursday. It's reading time again. Read along with me. The Hunter with a Heart. I'd been hiding in the undergrowth for what seemed like hours before the beast appeared. My stomach growling with hunger so loudly that I was scared it might give my position away. I'd sharpened the tip of my flint spear and made three extra arrows out of twigs and animal bone. I was ready to become the hero of my village. Ready to bring back the biggest catch we'd had in months. It was so big that it would feed our families for weeks. I approached, tiptoeing silently behind the trees. Just as I was about to fire, I saw it. A baby mammoth, trundling and stumbling behind its mother, weaving in and out of her legs. I knew I couldn't do it. I couldn't kill them. But what would we have for supper? Okay, so what we'd like you to do now is write today's date in the top of your page in your exercise book and see if you can answer these questions. Try and answer them in full sentences. Pause the video now and then come back when you've finished and we'll go through the answers. Number one, what does trundling and stumbling tell you about the baby mammoth's walk? The words tell us that the walk was unsteady. Question two, what do you think the hunter did next? And give a reason for your answer. This answer is your own choice about what you think he did next. Question three, how has the author made the character seem unsure at the end of the text. The author repeated the phrase, couldn't do it, and he used ellipsis, dot, dot, dot. Question four, explain how the hunter's feelings change throughout the text. You can include any information about how they were ready to hunt at the start, but changed when they saw the mammoth family. Thank you and we'll see you tomorrow.